Look at this neato soda drinking hat. <gasps> it must have belonged to someone who was number one. There's only been a handful of number ones in the entire history of forever. That's right, SpongeBob, and you're one of them. Really? This hat says, hey, I'm number one, and I let gravity do my drinking. This hat was made for you, boy. You were born to wear this hat. Hello, numbskull. How you doing, dude? You guys are so gullible. See, I did everything that attracts a sea bear, and nothing happened. If sea bears really exist, why didn't one show up? Maybe it's because you're not wearing your sombrero in a goofy fashion. Oh, pff, sorry. How silly of me. You mean like this? <laughs> no, like that. Well, actually, there was a railroad convention in town last week, and I bought myself this nifty conductor's cap. I have never seen a more ridiculous looking object on top of anybody's head anywhere. Well, I don't know. Suits my needs. What else did you buy at this convention? Your very own locomotive? <laughs> yes. Hey, man, you look like you've had a rough day. How'd you like to chill out with a nice massage? It's free. Free, huh? Free. Uh, okay, let's get this over with. Remember, this is the cold-blooded test. Just take his temperature. You got it, best friend. Don't call me that. Boop. Now I can show you how the pioneers hitchhiked. <laughs> She's beautiful. There once was a man from Nantucket. Oh, sorry, wrong one. These camouflage outfits should help us find out what Squidward's secret Wednesday secret is. the kitchen. Mm. This grill is not in very good shape. Oh, we don't use the grill. We cook everything on the roller. <laughs> good luck, kid. <laughs> I can't believe it. They kicked me out of the cephalopod lodge. Do we get to join the lodge? Where you dropped on your head when you were a baby. <gasps> How did you know? Psychic powers. At last, I have found my calling. I am Patrick Man, defender of Bikini Bottom! Come in, SpongeBob. Hello? Hello? Hey, I can hear you in my head. This is great. While I'm taking the test, you can give me all the answers. 
Wait a minute, Patrick. Won't I look silly with this antenna coming out of my head? Cool, state-of-the-art jellyfish nets. Touch. Don't touch. Wow, the harpoon from Jellyfish the Movie. Touch. Don't touch. Look, Dr. Manowar, the guy who got stung by Big Lenny and lived. And now it only hurts when you touch it. <laughs> touch. Do I have to follow you all day? From now on, you'll be twice as busy. And I expect you to wear two hats. Because along with your usual fry cooking duties, you're my lead reporter for the new Krabby Chronicle. Oh, my very own press badge. That's right, boy. And here's your very own camera. See, you'll need it to document all them juicy stories you're going to write. Excuse me, sir. How do you think you'll do in the race? Hello out there, Bikini Bottom. I'm glad I can finally talk to my adoring fans on television. Best of luck to you. Oh, excuse me, miss. Look, here he comes. Ooh. Thank you, Mr. Ranger. Yeah, thanks. Everything that isn't about fine dining. Everything? Everything. Come on, come on, come on. Quicker, quicker. Delete, delete. Come on, let's get moving. Hurry up, what do you think I'm paying you for? You don't pay me. We don't even exist. We're just a clever visual metaphor used to personify the abstract concept of thought. This doesn't put a damper on things, but I just checked and, well, it's just that all my money is gone. Yeah. I'm good enough to join the Bikini Bottom Men's Chorus, I promise. Yeah. Perhaps Squidward didn't see me. Figaro! <coughs> Figaro! This giant pothole ought to get his attention. Figaro! Uh, barnacles! <laughs> what am I going to do with all this dick? Patrick! Ah, what are you two morons doing? Waiting to watch the sunrise with you. At 3.47 in the morning? Uh-huh. In my bedroom? We come here every morning. Huh? You sneak into my house every morning? Uh-huh. <laughs> it's our favorite pastime. <laughs> For Patrick, another piece of paper. And what did you wish for, little girl? What teeth? Oh, I could use a new hat. Gotcha. Ah! Where were you on the day of today? Don't play games with me, Mister. Hey, Patrick, what are you doing? Oh, hi, SpongeBob. I'm just continuing my investigation of the Great Clamu Caper. Um, have you found out anything? Yes. No, wait. Uh, no. They called him Captain Scarfish! Hello! Ah! Stand at attention, Mr. Krabs. I want you to tell me the meaning of this. Oh, that, sir? Why, sir, that's a sea cucumber sandwich, sir, with a crust cut off, sir. A little bushy amusey for the boy, sir. This is the Navy, son. We don't cut the crusts off. We... Eat the crusts and throw the rest away. So I want this ship to look good and scary. You mean you want it to look good 
and scary. Well, I think we could probably... No, no. I think he means he wants it to look so good that it's scary. Or maybe that by looking so scary, you forget that it doesn't look good. I don't get it. Hello there, heaven's little wonder. Take me on a chocolate vacation. By the all-seeing eye, ye are worthy. There it is, Oyster Stadium. Not only do they have the largest oyster held in captivity, it also does tricks. He spits a giant pearl 100 feet in the air, like a cannonball. Why are we hanging around watching a cheap imitation? Let's get over there! <laughs> I think I wrote a poem once. A poem by Patrick Starr. Roses are blue, violets are red. I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> How many times I gotta tell you, this is gym class. <laughs> Do I look tough? I wouldn't mess with you. Nor I with you, my friend. Let's ride! And why aren't you in uniform? It's about time you got here! Here you go, your majesty. I can't drink that. Why not? Are you blind? Just look at it! Send these slenders to the guillotine. Understand, we're not from here. That's because you're witches who were sent by Plankatamore to destroy me. No, we're time travelers. <laughs> Help me out here, Patrick. Well, I'm not sure there's anything I can add at this point. Stop! 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 <laughs> How are we gonna find a monster in the dark? I can't see a thing. We don't have to find it. It'll find us. Trays of Mr. Krabs do we need? Just one. How many did you set it to take? 25,000. Emma, this is getting a little full of what me. Thank you. No more pictures, please. Beware! Let it be known to all far and wide. The mollusks are coming! Hilly ho! The mollusks are coming! The mollusks are coming! The mollusks are coming! The mollusks are coming! The mollusks! Mollusks! What mollusks? Litter. Looks like someone missed the trash basket, huh, Mr. Candy Wrapper? Nah, <laughs> kids these days. <gasps> I've never seen such an epidemic. Well, at least it's all over now. I can't do it. I'm weak. Snap out of it, man! Oh! <gasps> Ew! My personality! Oops. Let me put that back. Did you find everything okay? Unfortunately. Yeah! Oh, right. <laughs> Mr. Crab! Looking good! <laughs> What's wrong with Mr. Crab? I don't know. He's acting kind of weird. Oh, hi, Squidward. Can I help you? You certainly can help. Why are you wearing garbage? <laughs> Thanks for noticing, Squidward. And may I say that's a very becoming dress you're wearing this morning. Uh. Uh. Oh, oh. Why 
boxing begonia. It's beautiful. <laughs> The champ takes a swift uppercut to the jaw. Catch me, birdies, and catch the rope. All right, all right. How can the man stand it? Oh, and the champ is down. The winner! <laughs> SpongeBob. Oh, that was good, Wit. SpongeBob, what are you doing here? Just getting some eyes. Fresh. Huh? Uh, need some help? No! <laughs> You will definitely not be treated like a baby around here ever again. I am glad you see it my way, Grandmother. Well, I'm glad that's settled. But what am I going to do with all these fresh-baked cookies? <laughs> Sorry, Grandmother. We adults don't partake in the consumption of sweets. Right, Pat? Trick? Popcorn is served. That bro is trouble at any car wash. We will return to Bikini Bottom Car Wash after these messages. Here, hold this simple playing card while I transform it into a magic playing card before your very eyes. Let's see. Step one. <sighs> this can't possibly end soon. Which brings us to step Three. Hey, Squidward, look at me. I'm fun employed. Hey, you're good at this. Next on our itinerary, a brief mid morning siesta. Squidward, I am going to find that shortcut. Look, the Krusty Krab is right at the end of the block. Yoo-hoo! You're not gonna come with me? No, SpongeBob. I'm just going to struggle through the rest of this walk alone. Well, I guess this is where we part ways. But I can't wait to see your face when you get to work and I'm already there. Ah, that's the face! That's the look! Ah! <gasps> Do you folks need some help? I'm sad! You don't know how happy I am to see you. I have been stranded out here for weeks with, with, with these two barnacle heads and their magic conch shell. Magic conch shell? You mean like this? The magic conch a club member! I'm not taking my eyes off you. Three days later. Hey, SpongeBob. Hi, Patrick. How does this keep happening? Hi. Well, it's too bad you don't know Patrick Star, because I am from the Royal Ministry. I have a gift for him. Oh, what is it? Oh. <laughs> well, this is the worst tasting gift ever. That's because you're supposed to wear it, not eat it. Here's the two dollars I was short on those shoes. I must have maxed out Daddy's credit card. <laughs> Yay! Shoes! Shoes? Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, such a tired day at the office. Boy, am I famished. I sure wish I knew the best restaurant in Bikini Bottom. From where has this glorious scent come? Hark, the odor you seek is before you. At the Krusty Krab. SpongeBob, that you, boy? Why aren't you at work? And... Where you dressed up like an a pup and so see hula gal. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Krabs, but I'm so busy taking care of these snails. I'll try to come in tomorrow. You try? Listen up, me boy -o. You'll do more than try. Yeah. Ben, you leave Electric Ronnie alone. Mr. Buster, get off that shelf. Nothing today, thank you. Bye, Mr. Krabs. It's a shame Plankton couldn't be here. 
Uh, who knew Eugene was so light on his crab legs? Remember, you're not SpongeBob anymore. You're Shelby Nordica. Oh, I like that. Boop, beep, beep, boop, boop. Welcome to the Jum Bucket. Oh, it's you. What do you want? Yes, hello. I would like your most romantic table for myself and my beautiful date, Shelby Nordica, the robot. Beep, boop, bop. <laughs> Want to give me a ruling, SpongeBob? Sorry, Squidward. You gotta go lower to win. What the? What are you two doing? We're limbo dancing to get ready for the dance-a-thon auditions. We're gonna win the trophy. Ah, the two of you? Don't make me laugh. Come here. See that? That's where the trophy's going. Ooh. You built us a trophy case for when we win. Oh, you are a true friend. <laughs> Patrick. This is your conscience speaking. Oh, nice to meet you, conscience. So stupid. So stupid. The first thing you need to do is buy some more Krabby Patties on the double. Hiya, hiya. That'll be the first thing I do, conscience. Yes. Right after I run some errands. Got your nose. Hey, give it back! Not until you wash your hands. Oh, yeah? Well, I got your eyeballs! <laughs> huh? ah! I know what to do. I read a book. Chapter one, batten down the hatches. Next, lower anchor. Anchor's stuck! I'm going to have to free it manually. I'll be right back. <laughs> Gary and I are gonna try to win the prize so Mr. Krabs can fix up the Krusty Krab. Right, Gary? I hear you. I hope I win so I can buy all the Krabby Patties I want. Good thing I brought out the heavy artillery. Gooey worms! Uh, Patrick, those don't move. Sure they do! Giddy up! <laughs> See? <laughs> you know, actually, Mr. Krabs is probably wondering where I am and... And what? And, well, it's just that, um, you're kind of being a jerk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I, I thought you were going to say I was abusing my power. Uh, well, I... Who's saying I'm abusing my power? Okay, try this. It's simple and a real showstopper. Pay close attention. Ah. <laughs> it's all my good word. SpongeBob. Yes, Patrick. Is this a trowel? Yes, Patrick. Next chumstomer, please. Well, well, Eugene Crab. Say the formalities for your mother-in-law, Plankton. You stole me Krabby Patty formula, and I want it back. Oh, sorry to disappoint, Krabs, but I've done no such thing. I'm simply using a gift somebody left me to make my chum taste good. Five ninety-nine. Let's drink it while it lasts. Don't be shy, folks. These things are so cute. Enjoy your new home, little guy. Isn't he just adorable? <laughs> hey! That sure was a great idea you had, Mr. Krabs. Well, it's like they always say back in the old country, lad. What's that? I don't know. I've never been to the old country. Uh... <laughs>